Yo, what's going on, people? Uber X Confessions. Out here on a Thursday night. It started out pretty good. It was jumping. It was jumping for a long time. Then it, they just came to a halt. Started slowing up real quick. So, you know what that means? Your boy about to take it home. But, uh, Hey, tonight, man, I picked up this lady from this restaurant. Real sweet, you know what I'm saying, older lady. Uh, and she was um, going over to the east side. And I like the east side, man. East side got a lot of cool people, like real down-to-earth people, you know what I'm saying? Don't take much to please them, whatever. And uh, she was telling me that she had some friends in town for, for the... Uh, Dragon Con uh, convention or whatever. It's like all the fantasy, uh, you know, I guess like the games and movies and stuff or whatever, characters or whatever. People dress up like these different characters or whatever. Well, uh, some of her friends were in town and uh, uh, she knew some other people that were coming out with a card game. They released some kind of fantasy card game or whatever. And she wanted, they wanted her to teach everybody how to play the game or whatever. But uh, uh, she said they had one out already called Epic. And then I forget what the other new one is called, something Realm or whatever. But it's crazy that people out here creating like card games, like a fantasy, you no, know, like a game that you play like video games. It's like fantasy things, but it's like a card game or whatever, like a board game, I guess. But anyway, we were talking, and she was telling me about that, and um, telling me about different things, and then uh, I, I just asked her, I said, she looked, she looked like a reader, and everybody, a lot of people know, if you don't know, that I'm a, I'm a avid reader, I read every day, just about during the week, and um, so I like to ask different people what they're reading or whatever. So I asked this lady, I said, uh, what you been uh, reading good lately? Said, you been reading anything good lately? She's like, well, I just reread uh, Harry Potter. I said, oh yeah. I said, I said, which we like one book or like the whole series? She's like, no, I read, I reread the whole series. I said, great, then that's like five or six books, right? She's like seven. I said, great. I said, good lord. I said, yeah. She's like, yeah, but I love it. She's, like, I love the Harry Potter series. And um, she's like, you know, she was like. Uh, I told her, I said, yeah, I said, I said, I, I just saw one, I saw the one movie, the first one, and that was it, and um, I was telling her that uh, we went to Universal Studios um, a year or two ago, um, then my brother-in-law and his uh, wife went to the new uh, Hobbit area they have at Universal Studio, and that they liked it, and this and that, and she's like, oh, cool, da, 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 and she was like, you know, in the end, of those books she said it's really just all about love and about how love is all you need in this life and in this world and the lady started crying yo at, at first I thought she was just you know her voice was just cracking because she was tired or whatever but she's like you know start talking all this about love you know love is this and love is that and she's like and you know the other guy she was talking about whoever the villain is I'm not familiar with the characters in the movie but she's like you know the guy the villain the bad guy said he, his biggest fear is uh dying he didn't want to die or whatever and she's like but in the end you know you, you didn't have to fear dying because when you go the people carry on your you know your memories your legacy or whatever this and that and all this stuff and it was crazy though know, that she was crying over this stuff but you know i, I was thinking about that one day when i was uh I was about tight, man. I was thinking about, you know, energy and how powerful it is. Like, you know, I read this one book called um, how, to, how to Win Friends and Influence People. And a lot of times in that book, it was talking about how somebody, you know, they started out doing something like trying to draw. And uh, 
people like, oh, that drawing is ugly, you know, this is crap or whatever. And then somebody else would come, come along and say, oh, this is beautiful, you know, you should keep doing this, you should keep, you know, you know stick at this, you know, you, you can be somebody, whatever. And then they turn out to be one of the greatest painters ever or one of the biggest whoever, you know what I'm saying? I, I forget the names of the, of the people in the book, but it's real people that are like super famous and everybody knows them now for, for their art or whatever. But it just took somebody to believe in them to push them that far. And I got to thinking about like, just imagine if nobody ever shot you down on your dreams or whatever. Like I know a lot of people use negative energy for uh, fuel to, to, to go after things, but it's very empowering when people believe in you. Like when you go to a job, you start a new job and you know, you're not used to a supervisor that believes in you or that, that says, hey man, you're doing a good job or trust you with different things and say, hey, you did this, you did that or whatever, you should try this and, and watch you and nurture you and let you grow and you know, that can be in all kinds of different things but for somebody to believe in you and to uh, let you know how they feel about, you know what I'm saying, the good things you do or whatever it is that you're doing, it goes a long way. So just imagine how far you could go if you just had positive encouragement every day, you know, just to, just that extra push or whatever, but, you know, that negative energy is crazy, man, it can really pull you down, and people don't realize, like, just if, you know, you're in a room, and you, you're sitting there, and you're in a good mood, and, you know, everything, and somebody walks in, and they just, you know, got a scowl on their face or whatever, like, you can feel that, it, like, pulls at your energy and takes it away, that stuff is real, man, people don't, don't don't underestimate the power of energy. That stuff is real. Your mood and the energy that you put out into the world, the vibes you put out into the world, that stuff is real, man. But um, long story short, the lady was a sweet lady, man. But she made me want to go check out the uh, check out the Harry Potter uh, series or whatever. Now, I'm not much on like reading like you know fiction books and stuff. I, I like more like if I read stories or so I read like biographies. Like I read the autobiography of Quincy Jones. Like I read Mace's book and stuff like that. And uh, those you know those are good books. And I, I mostly like self help you know self improvement books and stuff like that or learning about something. Like right now I'm reading a lot about books about finances and stuff like that by Dave Ramsey and Tom Stanley. Stuff like that. Millionaire Next Door, Total Money Makeover, Smart Money, Smart Kids, Financial Peace, all of those books right now. And the next book I'll probably get is uh, The Millionaire Mind, another book by Tom Stanley where he's talking about, you know, the way millionaires think and how they go about things or whatever. But, you know, I, I, I'll give it a try. I can at least watch the movies. But uh, it wouldn't hurt here or there to at least probably just read the first one. I might get hooked and want to read them all, you know. But uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Let you know, man, energy is real. So watch what kind of energy you put out into the world. And, you know, take the time to just listen to people sometimes, you know. Give people an ear to be in. You know, you never know, you know, what they what they can, what insight they can, they can share with you and pass on to you. So give people time to talk. And when people are talking, don't talk over them. I, I heard uh, Brian Tracy, he's a motivational speaker on YouTube, say uh, he was listening like pointers on how to get people to, to like you and how you can be somebody that they always remember. And one of the things he said, when you're talking to people, don't, you know, as soon as they get into that last couple words, don't just jump in, you know, give it a little pause, one to two, you know, one to three seconds and make sure they're done. And then you start talking back again or jump in because you know it lets, you, it lets them know that you respect what they're saying and you want to hear what they're saying, not just you just want to jump in and throw everything, you know, on them or whatever. But just a couple things, man. I try to share stuff that little things that help me out that I'm trying to work on or whatever. But yeah, man, the lady was crying over Harry Potter, but the message that she was crying about was real. So hey, man, I can't do nothing but respect. It. She shook my hand and she, she put her hand on top of my She said, it was very nice talking with you. She set up the front, put all her stuff in the back, got to her house. She put her, put all this, all this little candy, gave me some Smarties. Said, here you go, have some candy. I said, oh, thank you, I love these. I'm going to turn them up too. But uh, <laughs> that's that, man. Uber X Confessions. Y'all might think it's cheesy, but that's real stuff, man. One day you understand. All right?
I'm about to go home and lay it down. Peace.